Hello, welcome to the next episode of Frog Manual and this time we will be working on the assembly of the FMEG 417 for the GBBR from the from VFC Humorex so it will work only in VFC Humorex 417 with Frog Engineering conversion to HPA. The capacity is 40 rounds um, but you have an option to switch it to 20 rounds like the real uh, steel counterpart. Uh, the switch is inside, to access it you need to take off the bottom plate, slide out the insert and there will be switch here on the side. Uh, later when we assemble the magazine you will see the progress um, where the switch is and what the positions are, I will explain it at the end of the video. You can find the models for 3D printed parts on the web, you will also need some kind of uh, screws, nuts and so on, metal parts that you need to buy somewhere, so the full list of components will be also published on the internet. You can build these magazines completely by yourself and um, use them in your gun. I have my parts printed already, uh, there, in the description there will be uh, explained the materials what I recommend to use. So now I will just show you how to put this together so that you can have a functional magazine. You see that we have some parts here, so we have the outer shell, we have the base plate, we have two halves of the insert, uh, we have the feeding lips, two parts of the follower, the top one and the bottom one, we have the spring lock, we have the base plate lock and we have the capacity lock. I print the shells out of the resin, uh, but you might do them in FDM technology similar to FMEG 556, uh, both will work, it's okay. You will also need some metal parts and these will be 5 screws and 3 times 18 5 nuts and 3 for these screws We have 2 screws M2.5 times 14 with this conical head M3 times 5 screw with conical head We have 2 brass inserts with M2.5 thread and the size of the insert is 3 by 4 millimeters. Uh, we have a small piece of spring, it's 15 millimeters long and the wire uh, diameter is 0 0.5 millimeters and the spring, the coil di diameter is 6 millimeters, so exactly the same as the FMEG 556. And we have the main spring which is also um, the same type as this one. So outer diameter 6 mm wire 0.5 mm 42 cm long and you will also need a paper clip. If you collected all these parts uh, you need to make some preparation before you start the general assembly and we will put those inserts M2.5 brass inserts into the halves of the magazine they will keep the feeding lips in place. So, if we look and on our halves, there is a hole on this one here and a hole here. Um, this is intended to drop the insert in, like this. And when I put in the screw, it should be able to catch the insert. Yeah, so I can move the insert now. And depending on your settings on the printer, you maybe will be able to pull it a little already into the uh, plastic part. My technique how I do it is that I take two screwdrivers and I support this insert with the screw from the bottom like this and I screw the screw inside. So as I do it the screw will start pushing on that screwdriver and the insert will slide up along the screw. As you can see so you can see it was pulled in the plastic and it will stay there holding the components. I can undo the screw now and do the same for the second half. So again I support it with one screwdriver and then screw the screw so that it pulls the insert into the plastic. And with this both halves are ready. So now we will be assembling the follower. Um, again, similar to what we did in FMEG 556. 
So we take these two halves and we must make sure that they are properly cleaned up as all the 3D printed parts obviously. And we want to push this uh, paper clip through the hole on the side, on the bottom part, into the top part and on the other side of the bottom part. Alright, so you see in my case it went all the way to the other side. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna clip this off on both sides. And you can see that it's sticking out so we need to file it down. So we take a file, so we, we must make sure that there will be nothing scratching on the sides of the insert in the magazine. So my part is ready. Um, I can slide my finger on both sides, it's flush, I don't see or feel um, any sharp edges and this top part moves freely, so this is what I want. So the next step will be the spring preparation. So for the tiny spring probably you'll cut it off some longer one like I do, I cut it off the main spring here. Uh, I just want to have the ends flat, so I will bend them a little. It does not have to be perfect, this spring is not that functional critical, so that's okay. And for the long spring we have to do uh, different things on both ends. So one end we need to make flat, which is simpler, simple, and the other end um, we must make sure that the spring is like a spiral with smaller diameter um, on the end. Why is that? Because if you don't do it, then probably you like cut this part off. Um, then when it will be sliding through the insert and the BB track, uh, this sharp end of the spring where you cut it off can cause jamming when it catches against uh, some surfaces in the insert. So basically how I do it, I first make it a little flat, yeah, because again it's cut from bigger length. Okay, and then I squeeze it a little, very carefully, not to um, break this tangent uh, shape, let's say. Yeah, okay. Okay, maybe a little more to the middle. So you can see that right now this end is pointing inwards into the main coil of the spring. So when this will slide, the sharp edge will be hidden for sure and there will be no issue because of it. So the next step will be lubing of these uh, magazine halves. I'll show you how I do it. So I basically have this beautiful box. Um, it's taped around so that it's more or less tight on the bottom. So I will take the regular silicone oiling spray. I have the airsoft one, but it can be any type of uh, silicone oil, whatever. And I'm just gonna spray and you will see that it's a lot. So I'm gonna put this in all the track on both sides. So it seems like a lot, but actually um, these 3D printed parts, they are very uneven on the surface and all of this oil will leak down uh, into the recesses and it will not uh, end up on the BBs. So in order to have any effect of this uh, lubrication on the insert, the spring, the BBs and so on, you really need to put a lot of this inside. Yeah, so that's what I do. And now we can continue, so I'll take the base plate lock and the base plate lock spring and uh, notice that on this half there is a tiny triangle in the corner for the base plate lock and the base plate lock has a corner also cut off on one side and you need to put them um, properly matching each other. I will show in detail in a moment how this looks like from up close. Uh, because otherwise you will not be able to close it and wh while I'm holding this uh, base plate lock I take the second half and basically 
put it over here. So here you can see how this cutout on the base plate lock aligns with the uh, triangular reduction of this hole. Okay, so now it's time to use our M3 screws and we basically put them from the other side into the magazine insert and we drive them all the way in. Um, sometimes depending on the quality of your prints it, this screw might go fully through or it might require some help as in my case. Um, but, uh, you know, it's easy, just a screw. Okay, and then on this side we have these hexagonal, uh, hexagonal holes, so we drop the nut in and the screw should catch it. Yeah, so we tighten the thing down. There are five of these holes, so one is here, one here. Here at the bottom there are these two and the middle one we already screwed in. Uh, so you do all the five, I will do it off screen. Once we have all five screws in, then we can insert the follower. And we basically drop it from the top here, it will go in like this, yeah. So with a little rotation, we just drop it in. So now we put the feeding lips with to M2.5 screws, so we just put the feeding lips here on top and then screw them through these holes. Basically I use this brass insert so that the feeding lips are replaceable. If you will just screw this in uh, so that the screw catches on the plastic, uh, it's also possible but you know, if you remove the feeding lips once or twice, probably this thread will be used up. And with brass inserts, you can use it on and on, replace them as needed. Now we rotate the magazine this way, and we take our main spring with this pre bent spiral shape we did, and we insert this end first to the magazine. Okay, you see it push the follower up. At the end, it's good to help yourself with a screwdriver. Okay, we push the spring in nicely so that it sits there. And now we take the spring cap, we just put it in here and we secure it with this M3 times 5 conical screw. The last internal part is the capacity lock. We put it in this hole here. And it should go in with a little resistance. You can see it has two positions. This is the first one. If we push it to the side, this is the second one. And how it works, basically the follower has this arm that uh, works with the bolt catch mechanism on the conversion. So when it travels down, it will stop because this arm will block the path for it. And um, this way we will get 20 rounds capacity or if we move it to this position um, this the follower can travel on um, along the uh, magazine so we can reach the maximum 40 rounds capacity so in order to switch the capacity basically you need to take out the insert and um, change that switch it's not ac accessible from the outside what's important is that you always want to lock it uh, when the follower is on this side of it not this side and the reason is because if it's on this side then it has some BBs probably that are pushing on it and you will also limit the capacity to 20 BBs as the follower will not be able to push out the rest of the BBs standing above but the issue is that the spring is much more compressed and you are using only 20 BBs of capacity, which makes no sense. So it's better to have the follower on this side, use 20 BBs capacity, but the spring will wear less and will, it will last longer because it's not so much compressed. So when we have our assembly ready, we just take the shell and we drop this in. It should go all the way in like this. And now we slide on the bottom plate from this side. And that's it, the magazine is ready. If you want to disassemble the bottom plate, you just push against this 
to overcome the resistance from the lock on the bottom. So what's left now is to format the magazine. I made a video uh, about this, uh, how to do it. So I will link it somewhere. You can see, check it out, how to do it properly. And then just jam this into your gun and start shooting. I hope you liked the video. Um, let me know your comments as usual. Subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell hit the like, um, leave me your comments and I'll try to respond to everybody. Thank you so much for your time and stay tuned for the next episodes of Frog Manual where you will see um, next projects and next ideas. Thank you so much and may the power of GBBR be with you.